Hi, I'm Trina. And I'm Nick. And we are costuming for... Hamlet. Nick is a professional. Oh. <laughs> and I do this uh, for fun. And so this is our fourth show together that yeah. we've costumed. Yeah, it's like our fourth show together that we've done together. And we just, we make a good team. We have fun. I met Trina, I think it was... um. APO had their banquet at ASU and Trina came to the banquet and that's when that's when it started. So have y'all ever um, costumed a Shakespeare show before? Yeah, no. my first show with B actually was Shakespeare on the Con show. I did Taming of the Shrew, um, directed by Marcus. It was back when it was, you know, by the museum and um, after that, I did not do any other Shakespeare shows, but um, I'm glad to be back. I do remember trying to keep in mind people's comf comfortability levels um, as far as them being too hot in what they're wearing. Um, and so like, you know, as far as like how many layers they have on and things like that, because it was like in the summer, we we're outside, we're in Texas. And so just trying to accommodate and make sure people um, don't have a heat stroke. <laughs> All Shakespeare on the Concho is special because they take these, this classic Shakespeare and then they kind of put a little twist on it and they kind of set it in a certain period, a certain time, a certain type of genre. And so when Nick and I signed on, we were like, oh, modern Shakespeare, okay, easy peasy. And then we got the news that it was going to be in the future. And we were both like, yeah, it's a little bit different. Big difference, um, you know. And it's not future, future in the sense of like the Jetsons and no. you know, like that. Um, kind of like um, the Matrix, the Matrix vibes, apocalyptic, uh, Resident Evil, Dune, if Hunger you've seen Games. That. Yeah, so all the references. Just throw all that in there and mix it up, and that's what, and we that's got. what you got. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little punk, it's a little modern, it's a little old school, it's just the future. As we see, as we see it, the future as we see yeah. it. There we go. Of course. So what's been your favorite part about this process? What's your favorite costume that you're working on? Ooh. Um. I really like the King's costume and Polonius's costume and Hamlet and Laertes. I think, um, that was out of my comfort zone. So, but it's it's really cool. I think I liked, um, I want to butcher some names here, Rosencrantz and Gilligan, or mm -hmm. that. Um, you know, uh, Stevie and Mary, who are playing those characters, just looked so dope uh, in their costumes tonight. It looked very edgy and very 2006 Fall Out Boy, you yeah. know, and I, I loved it. A little bit like they belong on the Lady Gaga Born This Way right. album cover. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at I'm it. Here for it, no. yeah. Oh yeah, Chromatica. Chromatica was a big inspiration for us. The Lady Gaga Chromatica tour. Nick and I both went to her tour this summer and so we drew a lot of inspiration from that. And then when we saw the set design, it was kind of crazy how much it, it mirrored what we saw. Mm -hmm. So we kind of just took off from that. So we are about done. Um, so uh, basically what we just did was we looked at everyone's costumes and kind of just got an idea of what needed to be tweaked and adjusted um, so that way we can come back and finish that. Um, and then... What we forgot. <laughs> yeah. And then next week, try to get the final pieces taken care of and we are good to go for show. Yeah. Nick and I kind of have the same work ethic where we like to get everything done a little early and we like to just hit the ground running, get it done, be here till midnight if we have to. But like the sooner we're in and out of it, the better. So it, it's a good team. Um, one thing I think is really cool and why I like costuming is because I spent so many years on the stage and I've always been into fashion and clothes and obviously I do hair and makeup for a living, but I think it's really cool to be on the other side of things and like, I'm not going to make an actor wear 12 inch heels or a dress that they're uncomfortable in because I have been that girl on stage not being able to give like my full potential um, because I'm uncomfortable in a costume. So that's something that's really important for Nick and I because Nick is also a performer 
but I've seen him be uncomfortable on stage. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and, and we just kind of get that performer aspect and then also the technical side of, it's our vision. <laughs> I think that um, it's going to be a great show, and um, tickets are on sale now. So go to beattheater.com to grab your ticket, and we will see you there. Come see Hamlet.